Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Battle for New York, our special. Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd with another Ninja Turtle recap. This one for a very special episode, Battle for New York. It was a one hour special. It actually aired online last week. It's still online if you haven't seen it or if you don't have the cables. So Michelangelo, like a turtle do, messing around in Donatello's lab. He's even got Ice Cream Kitty helping him out and he's playing around with Donatello's mutagen. Donatello gets so upset until he realizes that somehow Michelangelo has made the retro mutagen even stronger than it's ever been before. Your retro mutagen is stronger. Only problem is he has no idea how did it. I think we just now declare that Michelangelo is the smartest turtle of the bunch. I mean, he's great in Dimension X. He's always been able to figure out things without even thinking about it. Michelangelo is OP. Now they have this super retro mutagen. They can actually help all the people in New York City, but April senses that the people aren't even in New York City at this point. They have been transported to Dimension X. So the turtles decide they have to go to TCRI, get themselves transported to Dimension X, and save all the people. And Donatello has the perfect plan to do so, so he takes them all to a water tower. Hey Rob Paulson, this is Ninja Turtles, not Animaniacs. Just want to remind you. If Yakko, Wacko, and Dot come out that thing, I'm super excited. But the turtles are spotted by the Krang and have to go through a whole Krang fight, but then they realize that they're not the only ones fighting the Krang in this fight. Someone's helping them out and it's revealed that we see Pigeon Pete, Leatherhead, the monkey thing, <laughs> Dr. Rockwell, Monkey Brains, and Slash. They all have returned and they are now at their own team, the Mighty Mutanimals, which some of you may remember the Mighty Mutant Animals from the Archie Comics spinoff of Ninja Turtles Adventures. Leonardo and Slash, they got some beef. Mutant beef. And Slash and that Corey Feldman voice just like, hey, bro, I'm your friend now. I was a different turtle back then. And they go down to their secret lair where they meet up with their benefactor. Kurtzman's back. What's up, turtles? You gotta stop the crane. They're about to shoot a giant missile in the air. And Leonardo's like, I'm not working with Slash. And Slash's like, I'm not working with Leonardo. Meanwhile, Michelangelo and Leatherhead are just having some intimate bro moments. Leatherhead! Oh, and they're hugging each other. And Leatherhead's like, it's great to see you too, Michelangelo. It's so great to see you, Leatherhead. And I'm just like, kiss. They didn't realize that the crane were following them the entire time, attack their lair, shoot Kurtzman in the back. He's just like, ah! which somehow doesn't kill him and later we see it just broke his arm. The Mutanimals decide we're gonna do a ground attack on the Krang while the turtles decide to go back to the water tower and in Animaniacs fashion, the water tower blows up to reveal the turtle blimp. Now available in stores. This inadvertently allows them to actually help each other out. The Mighty Mutanimals take down the Krang down below while the turtles are able to stop the missile from above. But it's not easy because not only do they have to fight the Krang, but they also have to fight Krang Subprime, who's back in that Gilbert Godfrey voice and Irma body. And what I love about Krang Subprime is that he somehow has learned how to speak English better than the Krang, because the Krang are always like, the ones who are the turtles are the ones who are in New York City. What is wrong with you? You should be able to speak better than this. What are you, a bunch of codas from Power Rangers? You are crazy. The turtles and the mutanimals try to stop Krang Subprime from launching this missile. If this missile lands, it's going to turn all of the world into Krang land. The missile goes up in the air, but the turtles are able to jump on top of it, fight flying Krang to take down this missile. They save the day, they fly back home, and they learn that the turtles and the mutanimals, they should work together to take down the common enemy of the Krang. And that was just part one, because now the turtles still have to go to Dimension X to save all the humans. So they have a portal in the TCRI building. The mutanimals decide, we're going to keep that portal open. You turtles go into Dimension Dimension X and try to save all the people. Michelangelo is super excited about this because if you remember from the last time that Michelangelo was in Dimension X, it somehow makes him incredibly smart. Again, Michelangelo, OP. So the turtles take the turtle blimp into Dimension X, but the Mighty Pete Animals have some problems because the Krang just pull out all the stops. They bring out the Krang, they bring out the gorilla, which shoots the missiles out of the butt, they bring out that teacher, who I found out is voiced by Elvira, did you know that? And <laughs> my favorite part, not only do they have Krang subprime in the Irma body, they also have Irma bots. So now we have Krangbots and Irmabots. Do not do it too many Irmas joke. Do not do it too many Irmas joke. Do not do it too many Irmas. Too many Irmas. Too many Irmas. Too many Irmas. <laughs> Couldn't resist. The Krang are able to stop the Mutanimals and close the portal, which means the turtles are trapped. The turtles are in Dimension X. Again, Michelangelo is leading the charge. They find all the humans. It turns out that all the humans that have been Krangitized have basically become slaves. So the Krang come from their world to our world, take a bunch of people from it, bring it back to their land, and make them slaves. 
Seems like Dimension is not the only X you're gonna need. You might need a Malcolm in there too. <laughs> now, Tela still has the super retro mutagen, but they need a large supply to fix all the humans. You just gotta take over a Technodrome, which is gonna have a ton of mutagen in it that they can turn into super retro mutagen. So they try to take over the Technodrome, but of course, Crank Subprime is there! Meanwhile, Slash and the other mutanimals, they're trapped, and Slash is just all, I'm a bad leader. I feel just as bad as my performance in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. And Leatherhead is like, brother, it's okay. You help the turtles and you save humans. You are a great leader. I just love how all these mutanimals talk. They all have gravelly voices. Well, except for Pigeon Pete. And Dr. Rockwell, who uses his teleportation power, my dear boy, to <laughs> white. Well, that wasn't Dr. Rockwell, the freaking Mr. Peabody. <laughs> Come, Sherman, to the Wayback Machine. <laughs> Dr. Rockwell was experimented on by the Krang, so he now has mind control powers, which allowed him to free all the others, which allowed Slash to just go ham on on Krang and reopen the portal. And after opening the portal, Dr. Rockwell and Donatello worked together to create the best way to get every single human back. Freaking Star Trek teleportation. Seriously, they all go, and they all return back. Oh, I'm sorry, Space Heroes, right? That's the show that's in the Turtleverse. Crankbots are defeated, Crank Subprime is defeated! The turtles and all the humans are back, New York is back to normal. Hooray, the Crank have been destroyed! Let's party! Pizza party! Booyaka sha! This episode was awesome. I mean, seeing the turtles and then seeing Slash, Leatherhead, freaking monkeys and pigeons, it was all great. I hope that they keep adding mutants to this show. We already know Mondo Gecko's coming. We already had some punk frogs. It'd be cool if they just keep adding to the Mighty Mutanimals and make that their own team. Maybe even make that their own show, am I right? Little companion piece of the Turtles, you watch Ninja Turtles, and then Mighty Mutanimals after it? I'm just saying. So let me know what you thought of this episode of Ninja Turtles, and what mutants would you like to see added to the Mighty Mutanimal team? Thumbs up this video, and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button. I love you like a play cousin. I'm out of 5,000. Chain chomp. Booyaka show.